have a dramatic new development in our investigation into the sick pay scandal at the Clearwater Fire Department. Investigator Mark Douglas tells us a whistleblower now alleges that top brass in the fire department have known about this payroll problem for years. The ongoing payroll scandal at the Clearwater Fire Department took on a whole new level today with the arrival of this anonymous letter claiming cover-ups and corruption at the highest levels of city government. The author calls himself John Doe and tells the mayor and city council he fears retaliation. His complaint focuses on the case of former Fire Lieutenant Paul Capo, who runs a side business he promotes on YouTube. Hello, my name is Paul Capo with When Things Go Bad. Capo stopped working at the fire department in September and moved to Colorado for another full-time job. But he kept receiving vacation and sick time benefits until January. That's when he officially resigned. The city manager started an investigation weeks ago after we started asking questions. Who should be fired here? Well, I don't know. Last Friday, Horn fired the fire department payroll administrator, Marty Moran. But the John Doe email suggests Moran was a fall guy and names a number of top brass in the fire department as responsible. That list includes Fire Chief Scott Ellers, Deputy Chief Marvin Pettingill, Fire Marshal Stephen Strong, and the city's HR director, Joe Rosetto. I am aware of the John Doe letter, yes, sir. Basically, it says you either did know or should have known about this. I, I, we're working we're, uh, with HR. I was just actually at the city manager's office to discuss that and see what we're doing with it. Are you in the hot seat? I could very well be. I don't know. Um, so we, we're looking at everything from the top all the way down. The city investigation of the fire department payroll scandal is far from over, but this letter now gives investigators a lot more to consider and to talk about. In Clearwater, I'm Mark Douglas, News Channel 8.